الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين <تصفيق> رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وهل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أن نكاه سنتي ومن رقيب عن سنتي فليس مني So before we fare from the actual nikah, would like to share a few words as nasiha for the future husband and wife. In Surah Al-Rum, Allah SWT said, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ Among the sign of Allah's greatness, He created for you, your supposes, Your wife, husband, from yourself. So, I mean, ayatihi, from among the signs. Right? You know, ayat kursi, right? Yeah. Ayman, you know, ayat kursi? Yeah. So, how do you treat ayat kursi? With respect and honor, something put the wall. So, Allah said, Burhan, your wife is ayat. Allah said, Yeah, Ayman, Burhan is ayat. So that means what? Both of you have to treat one another with respect and honor. When you go to do something to Ayman, you say, nah, wait a minute, no. This is Allah Hayat. Right? And then he said, Azwajan. Azwajan means pair. That means man and woman, man and woman is not the same. Right? Allah has created different. Allah created always in Arabic called Azwaj, day and night, you know, black and white. You know, happiness, sadness, right? Like shoe pair. Would you like to wear shoes all right? It's difficult. You know, they are different, but they all go the same destination, right? When one of your shoes need to be repaired, the other just waiting, not find another shoes, right? And if one of the shoes is gone, the other was useless. And it was the goal of Mary. He said, Let's ilayha to find sakina, to find tranquility, happiness. Right? You know, if this time when you come home, Burhan, you sit down on the sofa, just look at your brother, you know, now you have somebody there. Right? And different. Right? But in order to have sakina in Mary, you need two things. Allah said, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً He made between you, mawadda, love and mercy. So Mary had to be what? Based on love and mercy. I think what put you together here is love. But very interesting, God used the word mawadda, not mahabba. Mawadda is not only love. Mawadda, that means after Mary, you have to accept as she is. She has to accept that he is. Because sometime before Mary, you have a lot of expectation. People think Mary like, you know, Indian movie? Yeah. <laughs> Indian movie, when the husband come home, the wife dancing. <laughs> so what happened if Ayman didn't dancing for you? Mawadda, you accept. That's Mawadda. Before Mary, you think that your wife didn't talk a lot. She was shy. And after Mary, oh man, she talk a lot. <laughs> what do you have to do? Mawadda. You accept. <laughs> the same old one, you have a lot of expectation. Not in reality. You can ask, you know, the expert. Right? <laughs> right. So therefore, why after Mawadda? Rahma. Love and mercy. Because love, mostly very, very strong in the beginning. During an Arabic called Shahrul Asad, during the honeymoon. Right? 
But after six months, become Shahrul Basal, Onion Moon. <laughs> right? So try to keep that honeymoon, not become onion. Right? So when the, the love down, the messy up. Right? In another surah, and very interesting, this ayat was revealed during Ramadan. You know, Allah talking about, about fasting. And then in the ayah, I see 187, he said, Hunna libasun lakum wa antum libasun lahun. Your wife like a garment for you. And you like a garment for your wife. Number one, when you're wearing clothes, there's nothing in between you and your, between clothes and your body, right? So therefore, after marriage, there has to be no secret, you know, between husband and wife. And then also, what is the function of clothes? To cover up. So after Mary, you have to cover up your wife's shortcoming. This he made the wife, right? That means what's going on at home has to be secret. If after Mary, somebody asks you about your wife, you can say, she's the best woman in the world. The same for her. So you can lie and marry. Right? <laughs> Satan. Second one, the function of clothes is uh, al wiqaya protection. So you have to protect her dignity, right? her honor. I think her parent will not give to you unless he trusts you that you're going to protect her. The same with her. And also mean, from now on, you have to be careful what you're going to post in your Facebook and WhatsApp. She will check it who's there, right? <laughs> Before you're free, right? That's also mean to protect one another. Another function of clothes is al-jamal, beautification. The husband has to show his beauty, you know, physically, spiritually for his wife. The same with the wife, yeah? In conclusion, he said that if you want to make your wife happy, the woman need triple A's, right? Uh, intention, attention, sorry, attention, appreciation, and affection. That woman need. Yeah, remember that? <laughs> I say what? Attention, appreciation, and affection. I saw he passed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah? He was checking just to see if you're listening. Yeah. Attention, that means you have to have time. Because a lot of men, in the beginning years, during the honeymoon, he likes to spend with his wife. But after that, I'm busy. Who's the busiest one in the world? Muhammad He's a prophet, he's the leader, he's a teacher. But you always have time for his wife. He said, khairukum, khairukum li ahli. The best among you is the one the best to his wife. Because you can be super Muslim in the masjid for two, three hours. But can you maintain your akhlaq with your wife? Right? Rasulullah s.a.w. when he come home, he always smiling. Kana inda dakhala baytahu bashan duhakan. Bashan means all smiling. Duhakan, he tried to find like short story that to entertain his wife. Yeah? And also, Attention, it means if you are on the phone or on the laptop, your wife talk to you, turn off. Yes, honey, what I can do for you? This is what Muhammad said. When he came home, Aisha sometimes talked for one hour, two hours. The solo is turning like this. Right? You know, can you stay there? Your wife talk one hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right. Second one is appreciation. People love to be acknowledged. So when your wife dress up, say something, wow, you're so pretty. Because some culture is difficult to say good word to his wife. Right? When she cooks something, say something. Aisha said that someone always says something. Yeah? You like biryani? Yeah. Yeah. Suppose your wife cook biryani. Right? Wow. How did you cook that? Even by some of this biryani need a little bit salt. Don't yell, right? Honey, you know this food remind me the food of Jannah. But if you put salt a little bit, 
become Jannah al Firdaus. <laughs> She's happy. Because when somebody asks Rasulullah, what is the most beloved deed to Allah? What the most what? Beloved deed to Allah. Pray not, fasting no. To make somebody as happy. When you make your wife happy, that's the most beloved to Allah. You make your parents, your father in law, mother in law happy. That's the most beloved deed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The last one is affection. You know, woman, when she marry a man, she always makes sure that he still loves her. I shall always check out Allah. You still love me. Right? So to say, I love you, you text her, I miss you. You know, that's what woman is. Right? Because some people, for you, never say, I love you. Or I care about you. Aisha always demanding Rasulullah to say that. Yeah. And also mean try to bring that mawadda and rahmah until the end of your life. I have a friend in Indonesia, he's auto sheikh. He's been married for 25 years. Never have fighting. Right? Because he brought mawadda and rahmah. So one day he come home and he was hungry, tired. His wife not finished cooking yet. He said, honey, can you just make noodle for me? Okay. I think where, while she was making noodle, she was on the pond. So she put too much salt. So give to her husband, you know, when he tested, it was salty. Can you imagine you're hungry, you're tired, and the noodle is salty? What are you going to do? You're going to yell. Honey, what's that? No. He still bring my wadda rahmah. said, honey, can you come here? I said, what's what? Just come here. Have a seat. What do you want? You know, for a long time, I did not feed you. <laughs> honey, feed you. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> it's done. Right? That's my wadda rahmah. Yeah? And also, affection that means the way you call your wife. Aisha said, Ya Rasulullah, I know if you get angry at me. He said, how? You call me Aisha. If not, you call me Ya Humayra or Aisha. Right? The symbol of love. Allah loved Muhammad Wasallam. He never said Ya Muhammad. Right? He said Ya Adam, Ya Nu, Ya Ibrahim. When come to Muhammad, what? Ya Ayuhal Muzammir, Ya Ayuhal Muddathir, Ya Ayuhal Nabi. So the same. When you call your wife, don't call her name. Yeah? American, they are good. They call his wife like what? Honey, sweetheart, what again? Baby. Some call pumpkin. Right? <laughs> what are you going to call her? Honey? <laughs> yeah. And John, right? In Urdu. Yeah. So that's triple A's. So Ayman, for men, men only need one letter. They call R. Respect. Al-Rijalu Qawwamuna ala nisa Because Allah put men at home to be the leader. Right? The protector, the provider. Right? Because yes, house needs somebody to be a leader. Like airplane need what? A pilot. Imagine an airplane without a pilot. The ship needs the captain. Even you work in, in the company, you need CEO. So Allah put men there. What the leader need? To be respected. Right? So therefore, look at the reward. In the hadith said, the bird in the sky, the fish in the ocean, they pray for women who respect her husband. Allah. Ayman, how many birds in the sky? How many fish in the ocean? Allah. All of them, they pray. So therefore, women to enter Jannah is not too much like men. Men have to go pray the masjid, they have to jihad. Right? Just made her happy. So therefore, when Rasulullah come home, Aisha, Hadija, Radiyal Anna, always be ready. You know what he said? Baiti was Jannati, right? My house is my heaven. What did he have? No furniture. Was Khadija. Khadija can transform home, become like Jannah. Right? So Khadija, when Rasulullah come home, always dress up. Also, as soon as Rasulullah come home, always see smiling. Right? He said, Rasulullah always have many problems outside. 
But as soon he arrived at home, just look at Khadija's face, everything gone. Right? So because some woman, when the husband come home, she become like, you know, FBI. <laughs> Why you come like, what time is it? <laughs> yeah? So be like Khadija. So therefore one day, Rasulullah about to enter the house, the angel Jibreel. He said, Khadija, hey Muhammad, look Khadija ready for you. And tell her that Allah from seven heaven sent his greeting for Khadija. Allah. Right? Why send greeting? Because Khadija always makes sure the Rasulullah feel peace when she is at home. Yeah? So there's just a few advice for both of you. Yeah, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless this Mary. Allah put them together, like Allah put together Adam and Hawa. Like Allah joined together Ali bin Abi Talib and Fatima to Zahra, right?